Your Natchez History Minute is brought to you by Natchez National Historical Park. On this day, May 15, 1850, the Mississippi Free Trader reported that a bell for St. Mary's Cathedral had arrived on the steamer Natchez No. 3 and would be elevated to its place in the tower by next Sunday. Bishop John Joseph Chance has secured a gift of the magnificent bell for Prince Alessandro Torlonia of Rome, Italy, who had paid not only for the bell itself, but for all the shipping and handling expenses. With a 40-inch diameter and weighing almost 3,000 pounds, the bell is the work of Giovanni Lucenti, a member of the great Italian bell-making family that has been in business since the 1630s. The story goes that on the night the bell was cast, around midnight, the prince, his wife, and a few friends went to the Lucenti foundry. The lady cast a gold ring into a glowing, melting mass, and all knelt down, reciting the litany of the Blessed Virgin and other prayers. Even though most bells were left rough because they wouldn't be seen, Tolonia insisted the Natchez bell be highly polished. The bell is decorated with reliefs of the Blessed Virgin, a simple cross, a wreath supported by cherubs, and the coat of arms of Bishop Chance and the Tolonia family. Three inscriptions recognize Bishop Chance, the donor Prince Tolonia, and the artist Lucenti. On May 26th, Bishop Chance blessed the bell according to the ceremony laid down in the Roman Pontifical and called it Maria Alexandrina in compliment to the donor and his wife. The next day, the bell was suspended in the tower of St. Mary Basilica, where it remains today. My name is Mike Murphy. I'm a member of the St. Mary Basilica Archives Committee, and this has been your Natchez History Minute.